Hey, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra. And welcome. How are we all doing? Are we all doing all right? Yes? Good, I am glad to hear. For those of you who are new, who have joined my channel recently, hi and welcome to the Sussex squad of beauty enthusiasts, subscription box lovers. We all love a subscription box here. We might not admit it, but we do. And we love watching to see what contents are in our subscription boxes each month. I do several beauty boxes on my channel, um, a few UK ones and a couple of the American ones as well. Today I am doing one of the, the one, one of the more established beauty box subscriptions based here in the UK and it's looked fantastic. So here it is, it arrived a couple of hours ago. I'm taking my lunch break just to do this unboxing, just for you, you know what I mean? just for you so what is um, so what is look fantastic so look fantastic as I said is a monthly subscription beauty box <clears throat> excuse me you will get sort of five to six items inside the box it will be beauty sort of skin care it'll be makeup it might be a beauty tool of some sort you know it could be something for your feet something for your hair for something for your body something for your face eyes lips whatever all in the beauty realm <clears throat> The box costs, if you can buy the box in several ways. So you can buy the box as a one-off each month and it will cost you £15 a month. But then there's also different plans you can get. So just to make sure, because I'm always wrong in my pricing, there are different ways you can do it. So let me just double check here. So yes, if you buy the box as a one-off each month, so you can buy it when you want, it's £15 per month. Yep. If you sign up for the 12 month plan, so if you sign up for a 12 month plan, you can't cancel any time during that time. But it does mean that you secure the box for a price of £13 per month. So you know, if it's something that you're interested in, it's worthwhile doing because you will be saving £2 per month. <clears throat> You can also sign up for six months, um, which is what I, I had done. Um, this is my last month of the six months. So if you do the six months, it will cost you £13.75 per month. And then if you do the three month plan, it will cost you £14.50 per month. Now, personally, how have I found the last six months? Because I, I had done subscribe from Look Fantastic, what, say two years ago? It was about 2019 when I unsubscribed. I said I had enough and that was it. And I literally, I came to that decision because at the time I was sick of getting products inside the box that were not suitable for my skin colouring. Everything was, seemed to be aimed towards people of sort of white skin tones and I just thought that was totally unfair because the box doesn't say that it's only for one skin colouring it says it's a beauty box available for everybody so you know that's what I I assumed that they would cater for everybody and they hadn't so at that time I unsubscribed and said that's it not doing it again but then Christmas just gone I bought their beauty chest it was like a treasure chest and I really enjoyed that I, I, I really really enjoyed it and I thought you know what I'm gonna subscribe again so I did the six month plan where I could get the box for £13.75 so I've been getting the box since January this is my last box for the six months and I'm gonna sort of decide if I'm going to sort of sign up again for another six months or even for 12 months I don't think I'll do 12 months if I do it again it will be six months again so we'll see how I get on with this with this box you might be able to help me to decide what I should do but before I open up this month's box I would like to just do a little review of how I got on with the products in last month's box and I can tell you now for me last month's box was outstanding what I normally do when I get subscription boxes, I do a scoring system on the contents of the box. So I'll do a score at the time and then after I've had the box for a month, use the products for a month, I'll give another score again and that will be my real score after trying out those products. So at the, at the end of last month, I was basically like, wow, and I actually gave six out of six for all the products in the box. And I can tell you now, I have been doing subscription boxes since, what, 2017? So I've been doing it for a few years now. Yeah, five years now. I've been doing it for a while. And I have never, ever given 100% score for any of the beauty boxes I've received. You know, I've given sort of 80%, 90%, but I've never, ever, ever given a full 100%. And last month's box was the first time I ever did that. So have my thoughts changed since I've had a month now to try the products? Let's see. 
So the first product I received in the May look fantastic was from Bondi Sands and it was an SPF 50 product. So it was just a, a sort of a deluxe sample of the Bondi Sands Sun Protection Cream. Um, I haven't personally used it. I gave the product to, well I did use it once and it was fine. It was clear, it was fine, but it ended up being used by my daughter's boyfriend who is very fair skinned. He's got ginger hair, he needs to protect himself. And as per usual, he came round at the weekend. He didn't have, um, he forgot to bring his sun protection factor with him, even though we were going down to the beach for the day. So I gave him that and it was fine. He put it on. It was clear on him it's not going to show my daughter put it on her skin um opposition my daughter is biracials and it didn't show up on her skin and i put some on as well and didn't show up on my skin so as far as i'm concerned that product was a hit it worked really well it wasn't greasy it was actually quite light but you could tell it was a sun protection cream but fine so for me i'm still giving that a one it was a great product so very pleased with that um the next product was a Rituals Body Shimmer Oil. So again, we've got a deluxe um, sample of a product that was about so big, so it was about 50 mils, of an oil um, which has got some sort of gold glitters in there. I have used it a couple of times and I don't think anybody even noticed that I put it on because you couldn't really see the shimmering stuff in Song I did. Um, it gave a kind of a light glow, but it hardly showed up to be honest. I mean, you had to shake it up obviously to make sure the product was mixed, but you could you could hardly tell. It just gave a very light shimmer. So it depends on what you like from these kind of products. If you want something really obvious, there are lots of products out there that give you that obvious glitter shimmer. This doesn't. This is so subtle that it's actually almost, you can hardly detect it at all. I I could see a, a, a very light glow. So for me, I was more than comfortable to use it. It was a, it's a nice fragrance. It's a light oil, body oil. It's a dry oil almost, almost so it's not greasy to the touch. Very hydrating, it makes your skin look nice. Um, again, I had no problems with it. I would use it, I mean, I've used it a couple of times as I've said, um, and I would use it again. If I was going out somewhere and I'm wearing more off the shoulders or I'm showing my arms, at some point we're going to get some warm weather so i might be able to go short sleeved or no sleeves at all at some point i would put the product on just to make myself look a little bit more glimmery and a bit more summery so it is a product i would use i wouldn't personally go out and buy it because it's not something i'm gonna i'm gonna use that often i'm only using it because i've got it available you know it smelt nice it's a nice oil but if it's something that you like if you like shimmery oils not too obvious you will like this product so i'm gonna give it a one because i did use it i did like it because it wasn't too obvious but it's not something i would personally go out and deliberately buy you know get yeah, that so i'm still giving it a score of one the next product was from Groom, G-R-U-U-M, and it was a purifying cleansing bar soap. Now, um, so it's a black charcoal bar soap, and I tell you what, I really enjoyed using it. I'm using that now. I'm still using it. I've been using it near enough every day. I only use it once a day. So, um, at the beginning, I was using it as my second cleanse at night time and I'm removing my makeup. So, I do two-step cleaning. So, I'll use an oil, sort of a... a, a a face oil to lift my makeup on get it all off wet my face and then I'll go with the bar and wash my face off so it gives a nice um, soapy side wash your face off and your face is really nice and clean afterwards skin is not over dry so it's not like squeaky tight horrible tight dry it's just fresh and clean it's got a nice fresh sort of citrusy scent I really like it. It's a nice, it's a nice bar of soap. I've enjoyed using it, and it was something I would pick up again. So I did like that. Um, so as I said, I've been using it at the beginning um, when I first got the bar. I was using it as my second cleanse. Now I'm using it as my face cleanse in the morning. So you know, I have my shower. I'm using that to cleanse my face. Fine. Like the bar. Really like it. Yeah, enjoyed using it. So really glad I received that. So that definitely gets a score of one. Next product was from We Are Paradox and it's a three-in-one conditioner. So it's a leave-in conditioner or you can use it as a conditioner, leave it in your hair and wash it out. Um, different ways you could use it. So it's like a hydrating, conditioning, strengthening um, product. And I've just been using it as a leave-in conditioner. I even put some on today, sort of put some in my hair. So I sprayed my hair with my sort of hydration mist and I put that in afterwards curl my hair into place bang that was it done so for me it's a product i've used and i've enjoyed using it this is the second one i've received so i've 
got um, one which I'm finishing up at the moment and this one which I've got in the look fantastic will be um, will be a backup but it is a product I've enjoyed using it I've enjoyed using it, it lasts a long time, it comes in the tube, it's a nice texture, it does the job I'm more than happy with that as well so that gets a score of one as well Next product was one of my favourite products. It's the Sol de Jarmiro de Bum Bum Cream, famous Bum Bum Cream. So we got a small sample of that. It was about, is it 75 mils or 25 mils? It's only a small little tub like that. And again, it's just a body moisturising cream. It smells gorgeous. It's one of those smells that the majority of people like, but there's going to be some people who don't like it because it is a strong smell. Um, so you've got to like the smell of coconut, but it's got it's a coconut smell with a bit of tropics in there as well. Not a straight up coconut smell, which can be quite boring in my opinion. Really, really love the cream and I have been using it, particularly on my legs and my arms. I love it. It's a really, really nice cream. So enjoyed using that. That gets a score of one as well. And the final product was from Seattle, London, and it's a Glow 2 highlighter. So we got a little sample of that. Have I got it here or have I brought it upstairs? Um, I didn't use it today, but I have been wearing it. Um, yeah, I think it's upstairs now. Just a little highlighter, typical sort of champagne-y colour. It's a nice soft powder. You can sort of put it on lightly or you can put it on quite heavily. But it's a typical, nice, decent quality highlighter. Again, really enjoyed using it. Um, when I put it on, I tend to put it on my cheeks and a little bit on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the cupid of my lips. But I didn't put any on today, so can't even show you. But again, really nice product. Haven't got a problem with it. It's just a decent quality highlighter. So again, that got a score of one. So all of the products, none of the products are outstanding, fantastic. Oh my God, really excited to use. But all the products are really nice products, which I've enjoyed using. I appreciate having. All really really good so that's why this last month's box got the full six out of six it was just a really really good beauty box and I, I remember looking in the comment section I saw that quite a few of you were impressed with you and were thinking about getting hold of the box so I hope you did get hold of the box because it was a good box so uh, I have got a referral code now I think so I will put that referral code down below well let's see what this month's box is like so here it is let's open this up and uh, let's hope that it's followed, last month's box has followed up with another decent one. What I tend to find, um, this, this is for me though, what I tend to find is when I get a, a subscription box which is really, really good, the next month's one tends to be dire. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case, so let's see. Right, okay, let's put that down here. Okay, so we've got a little voucher here for Wines32. I never use those vouchers so this is this month's box this month okay this is what it looks like it's all sort of rainbow colors which i'm assuming is assuming because um around the world june tends to be pride month so the lgbtq plus celebration month so that's why i'm assuming we've got the whole rainbow color scheme going on here okay so let's see what we got um inside oh there's a smell of almost like paint that's the width I've got just then. Inside the box, the the little blurb in here says, be so good, they can't ignore you. That's what it says on the inside there. Can you see that? Okay, right, oh, look at this, look at this. So the cover here, I've got a little magazine, which has got all the details of the product in there. So yep, there we go. We've got a girl there in all her carnival colors there, but it's a woman of color. Look at that, look at look fantastic showing us a product with um, a woman of colour on there. Let's have a look and see if the products are suitable. So the theme this month seems to be, I don't know, trending this June? We shall see. Right, have we got, um, so I know sometimes they do a spoiler for the following month. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's have a quick look. So we've got an editor's note. And it's talking about half being halfway through the year and what look fantastic tend to do in their little book now is that they give you the, the editor's top four picks or the four products which everybody will get inside their box and then the other two products will be anything i suppose i don't know if everybody gets the same extra two products but these four products everyone will get so let's open it up that's what it looks like on the inside Okay, 
so the first product is this so it's just a sachet and it's called disciple what spot dots it's about them so this is what is what sport dots are the perfect quick fix solution for stressed out skin calming redness protecting from infection and skin picking an injection a boost of natural um, right so what spot dots are the perfect quick fix solution for stressed out skin calming redness protecting from infection and injecting a boost of natural salicylic acid to help detox blocked pores so in brackets it's got down also protects from skin picking hydrocolloid draws impurities to the surface and speeds up the spots life cycle whilst curbing post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation okay so basically when people pick spots sometimes it leaves it almost like a little bit of scarring sort of discoloration of the skin that's what they mean by the hyperpigmentation so this will help with healing um i don't suffer from spots um i can give this to my daughter i suppose i'll give it to my daughter because occasionally she gets sort of the odd acne breakout usually at the time of the month but if she's feeling stressed she might get a few spots so i'll give that to her but that's not a product for me hmm. Okay, product number two is from NUX. So this is a, a brand we do know. This is NUX Very Rose Micellar Water and we've got 100 millilitres here. Um, so this is a calming formula designed to cleanse skin without drying it out. Ideal for lifting build-ups as well as stubborn pigments. The micellar water purifies your complexion, leaving it comfortable and nourished. Ingredients, rose, floral, water. How to use in the morning and evening, gently apply a cotton pad soaked in micellar water to the face and eyes. So how I would use this is I wouldn't use it as my main face cleanse. It would be after I've done my cleanse and I'd almost just go in with a cotton pad afterwards just to pick up any remnants that might be left on my face. And I don't expect to see anything on my face at all. Um, I could also use this just to sort of refresh my face as well if it's rose and if it's kept cold. Let's see how strong the smell of rose is because rose is not a fragrance that everybody likes. I don't. So, yeah, it has got a scent of rose, but it's not too strong. It's um, kind of a, almost like a light fruity scent of rose, so it's not too bad. So it's okay. This, this It will get used. So, no, it's okay. It'll, as I said, we got enough there for, for a good couple of months worth of use there. So. Next product is from Bubble Tea. Okay, so this brand I'm not that fond of. I don't know, this brand, they do okay products, but they're not the best of quality, in my opinion. So they'll do bath bombs, they're all right, but they're not the best. If you compare it to something like a Lush bath bomb, no comparison. They do shower gels, they're all right. They're not the best, but I'm all right. Um, so this is now a watermelon body scrub and we've got 100 ml. So we've got a fair amount here. Um, what is it? So this is gently polish your way to glowy skin with this exfoliating, sweet scented watermelon body scrub from Bubble Tea. And it's suitable for vegans. Features exfoliating, um, suitable for vegans, how to use, gently lava the scrub over your body in the shower and wipe clean. Okay. Let's see how good the watermelon scent is. Oh, it's got a, a seal. Oh, I need to break the seal. Um, I just want to see how strong the, the scent is. Okay, I'm actually going to put a little bit on. So it's actually clear, a liquid. And it's not too, it's not too scrubby. So it's something I could use. It's not too harsh. Ooh, watermelon. Mm, it's not as, it's not the strongest of scents. See, when I think watermelon, I think good fruit, the first quenching, you know, nice good fruity smell. So we've got products from Seattle London. They've done lots of watermelon products. Products um, from Glow Recipe. They've got watermelon fragrance products. See, they all smell the same. Really nice watermelon scent. This is not it. <laughs> this is not the same scent. It will get used, but yeah, as I, as I said, 
when I think of bubble tea, I don't think the best in quality. It's just an okay quality product. It's the kind of quality product I'd expect to find in, say, little Aldi. Actually, I think even Aldi will do a better quality one than that. Oh dear, I'm dissing it. Maybe stop there. But yeah, it's, it'll get used, if not by me, by somebody. Right, next we've got a product from Gatineau. So Gatineau's a little bit on the high end, sort of a French beauty brand. Um, so this is Gatineau Radiance Gommage. So Gommage, I believe, is a, like a face peel. So it's usually those products you put on as a cream product and then when it's dry, you sort of rub your face and it sort of lifts up, it lifts up all the dirt and impurities on your face, apparently. Again, I don't really like using these products, but if Gatineau's made it, it'll be a decent quality. So this is Getting a Radiance Gommage, a unique balm to oil enzymatic exfoliator, sounds different, with AHAs including glycolic, lactic, malic acid, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Reveal a renewed and naturally radiant complexion, the perfect exfoliator for sensitive skin and for those experiencing breakouts, clogged pores, dull skin, uneven skin tone and pigmentation how to use apply generously to dry skin over the face and neck massage in circular motions until the texture liquefies leave for one to two minutes before rinsing with warm water okay so it's slightly different so this is not a lift to peel this is a becomes was it it becomes more liquid and you leave it so it's almost like a face mask so you leave it for one to two minutes and then you rinse off i'll definitely use this see what this is like so okay that's something i will use next product is from ico oh no it's not a, it's not a mascara is it oh no it's a brow gel and it's in clear okay so this is from ico it's brow gel it's clear i'm gonna put this one in a giveaway i had a giveaway giveaway i've done recently which has gone to christy lou um this her one i did a giveaway recently last month's giveaway and that had a clear brow gel in there as well so this one's going to have a, a this giveaway this month is also going to have a clear brow gel um, so this is clear it's four milliliters what is it lock brows in place with the ico clear brow gel um, waterproof and strong hold and setting gel is designed to set brows hairs in place for up to 24 hours ingredients include magnolia bark extract and green tea leaf extract how to use brush through brows to set hairs in place Okay, so this will definitely be going into my giveaway box. Next is from... Oh, just realised I've got two Gatineau products, so they've sent two. That's all right, isn't it? There you go, I've got two of those. So the last product is from Lottie London, and this is a Power Foil Golden Hour. I've received this before and I've hardly used it, to be honest. So this is, what is it? It's your, give your lids in an extra glittery lock with the Lottie London Power Foil, a sparkly product that adds a metallic sheen to the top of any color. Apply quickly and reap the benefits of intense pigment without needing to add multiple layers. Suitable for vegans, cruelty and gluten free. Um, apply with fingertips, a shadow brush or a liner brush to, crease, to create a pop of color. Okay, so there you go. So this is what it looks like. I wonder if I've got one here which I can show you because this is all sealed so I'm seeing if I'm gonna this one is all sealed so I'm just gonna see if there is one I've got here which I've opened I haven't got one here sorry about that I know I've got one I'm just trying to think where it could be but it's not here unfortunately so basically it's like a pressed pressed foil eyeshadow shimmer um very much like This is one by Hourglass, um, much higher end brand, but it's very much like that, but more of a gold color. So if you think something like that, but it's more gold in color, and that's what that one is like. So I'm also gonna put this one in the giveaway for June. So for my giveaway for June, I'll be putting these two products in there. And because I've received two of these, um, I'll put one of these in there as well. 
Okay, um, how am I thinking? It's in the white box. Have I got my value? So £13.75. Um, yeah, I mean, the only, problem, the only products I'm kind of interested in is this. I'm interested in that because I want to see what that's like. This will get used, no problems. I don't think much of the body scrub. I mean, has it even got a nice scent for me to give it give it some sort of a decent score? Um, I'm going to give this to my daughter. So, so this if I'm going to do my scoring system, this is going to get a half. This is going to get a half. This will get one. This will get one. So we're on three, and. I'm giving that away, that's a zero. I'm giving that away, so that's a zero. So we've got a three out of six. Okay, 50%. It's not the worst, but it's not as good as last month. But you guys, you let me know what you think. So that is my look fantastic for June. Let me know what you think. I'm sure you'll give me your honest, um, your honest point of views. So, I have comment section down below so please leave your comments down there you'll have heard me mention about a giveaway a minute ago so the giveaway I do every month consists of products that I received in my beauty boxes which I've received over the month um, and products that I personally am not going to be using for whatever reason so I don't like it I don't need it it's not suitable for me I've got duplication like in this case so it'll be products I put in so they'll be brand new products untouched by me and they'll be going inside the giveaway and then at the end of the month um, I will pick out my favourite comment that I've received during that month and that person, as long as they are a subscriber to my channel, a public subscriber to my channel, they will receive the box. So last month the winner was Christy Lou. She got the box. Hopefully she's received it by now because it was sent It was sent at the weekend. It was sent on Saturday. Today is Wednesday. So hopefully she's received it. Um, and yeah, every month I, I do that as a giveaway. Yeah, free of charge. The only thing you've got to do is be a subscriber to my channel or make sure you're a public subscriber to my channel. All right, guys, that's my look fantastic. My first beauty box of the month of June. All right, guys, take care. I will see you soon. Bye.